All right, so we are on our way to go to Joshua Tree. Uh, we filled up here at 7-Eleven with diesel. Everybody in the car. And we have the trailer as well, the Mark IV trailer, right there. All full and ready to go. We're gonna see how this Kerma TDI tune does us. All right, see you guys. Joshua Tree National Park. It took about two and a half hours, just about. Beautiful scenery, it's already hot. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be here for a couple hours and then we're gonna head on over to Las Vegas. But yeah, we're gonna go see some cool stuff. Keep you guys posted. With the Kerma Tune car with over a thousand pounds of weight in the car, hauling the trailer, um, pretty much getting about 30 miles to the gallon. We made it to this gas stop at 248 miles with still a quarter tank to go, which is insanely very good, especially thinking about what we're hauling in this car. Okay, so we still have to make it to Las Vegas and then from Vegas to the Grand Canyon. We keep you guys updated. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. All right, so we just crossed over the Nevada border. And how many miles we got left? Yeah, so 75 miles and then we're in Las Vegas. So, yeah, the car is doing really good. Doing 75, 90% of the way. 
you had to drop downshift a couple times to, 60, uh, to fourth gear around 60 miles an hour just to go up hills and keep the uh, temp engine temperature happy. Um, besides that though, we're on our way now to the Grand Canyon. It's a 300 mile trip, so we'll keep you guys updated as we go. Dude, I can't even like. I'm, I'm trying to. This is crazy. We'll bring her back. Oh, look, this is a random bird gun. Canyon campsite here with Mr. Will up in his little tent and uh, Mark 7 wagon and obviously half for the trailer. Our camps our big old tent right there. There's Will's tent, place for a fire. There's our shower tent and then we got our uh, I guess our dining area right here. Uh, it's a pretty nice big uh, campsite here at the uh, the name of this campsite we got desert view uh, campsite here at the grand canyon yeah I, I was showing the shower our dining area parking campfire and then living quarters over here <laughs> um, there's some really uh, we're actually about probably a two three minute walk to the ridge of the grand canyon uh, right on the other side over there yeah, but if you look on up, we got some angry clouds forming here, back there. 
Um, we did get a weather report recently that it's going to rain today and tomorrow. So uh, good thing we're leaving tomorrow, but tonight's gonna be an interesting night. You can see we got cloud formation all the way around us. So we're like in the heart of it right now. Cause I have like zero clouds here. But you guys can see clouds pretty much full 360 <laughs> around our campsite which is going to be very very interesting uh what's going to happen tonight uh tomorrow we're trying to leave bright and early pretty much when the sun decides to show up in the early early morning and leave uh because then we're going to utah to zion park hopefully we have uh zero issues just like on this trip here we had zero zero issues um our Kerma TDI tuned Mark 7 uh, TDI did amazing with all this weight plus, you know, three full adults, two kids, probably easily a thousand pounds behind us, plus an extra two to 300 pounds on top of all the people inside the car. The car was still getting anywhere from 25 to 30 miles of the gallon up and down hills with, without a single hiccup. Now, when we're doing really long uphills, uh it started to overheat all we had to do is turn the ac off and keep going and it was fine uh when we run the ac it does definitely get a lot hotter for the engine so that's one thing and we were in arizona then and it was super hot we were averaging anywhere from 95 to 101 degrees so that added temperature did uh, actually add an added effect towards the car's performance but besides that uh the car did phenomenally the entire way here and it's gonna do again just as good on our way to utah and from there to Yosemite and everywhere else we're going from there. But yeah, great, great, great um, campsite. Really affordable. And again, just goes straight that way and you're towards the ridge of the Grand Canyon. Some gorgeous views and hikes right around here. Um, so thank you. And we'll give you guys another update when we get to the next stop or when we actually leave. <laughs> 